Hello, everyone. Welcome to Spirit Coaching Astrology. I am your Western Tropical Astrologer. Let's see. There we go. You should be able to see me. I am your Western Tropical Astrologer, Priscilla, or Lolita. I go by both names. Um, and today is a, a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for January 2022. Um, if this does not resonate, please check out your uh, moon and your sun as I do all of my uh, readings per the rising um, placement um, because this is your physical embodiment. This is how the world sees you. Um, the sun is your soul and the moon is your inner emotion. So I do all of my readings based off of the rising sign, uh, but this can also resonate for moon and sun. So go ahead. If this does not resonate with you, check out your other readings on this channel. Um, you can also book a private session with me as long as you have your time of birth for a natal chart reading or other type of readings. Um, I do personalize them to what your specific needs. Um, and my website will be linked in the description box below. So let's go ahead and begin for Scorpio rising sun and moon. Okay. Scorpio. So right now we have, um, Mars in your second house. So there should be a lot of action around, um, you know, working towards some bigger goals you might have, um, how to be more positive and to be able to attain and attract more money into your life. Um, and just a lot of energy with um, attracting a lot of passion and desire and motivation into, um, you know, your, your, finances and your money, you might even be feeling a little restless um, and anxious around this um, type of um, energy with Mars sitting in your second house. Um, you also have um, the North Node in opposition to um, where Mars is, um, not completely, but it is in your opposite house in Gemini in the eighth. And the nodes are going to move soon into um, Taurus and Scorpio. So you will be having the South node in your first house. Um, and you will be having your North node in your seventh house. So there'll be a lot of changes here with, um, having to let go of the past in order to allow new beginnings to come in, because that's, what's coming for you is some new beginnings, um, and some new, um, directions in life with, uh, partnerships and how you, um, work with other people and how you um, go about doing contracts, um, how you might even perceive um, relationships. There's going to be a whole new push um, into this area for you. I believe the moon is in your eighth house at the moment too, because uh, yesterday it was in Taurus. Yeah. So today I believe it's at eight degrees um, in your eighth house. So if you have any planets in Gemini in your eighth house, the, um, the moon at the moment is conjuncting those, especially personal planets, if there's any there. Um, and that could, uh, you know, heighten some emotional things for you in in areas around um you know psychological um depth maybe connections with other people um how you um you know share resources and finances with others um and how you guys go about communicating these things with other people um so there's there's a whole new transition um coming for you scorpio it's a big year for you a big change um, a lot of the goals that you have set forth, you've been really working towards. Um, and so you're going to be able to see the fruits of your labors now. Um, you also could be for this month, there could have been um, a lot of action in your local community, um, in your neighborhood, you've could have made some new friends, um, you could be dealing a lot with your siblings at the moment, or distant relatives, um, like, you know, grandparents. Um, there's a uh, there could have even been um, some separation of some sort, or even maybe um, some Scorpios could have uh, been seeing some changes around the way that they communicate in love and in their relationships um, and how they go about um, expressing what they need from others, um, you know, instead of... Uh, 
demanding it more so learning how to strategically communicate their um, their boundaries as well um, so you do have the sun at 22 degrees in your third house uh, venus is also at 16 degrees retrograde so this could be really um bringing in some new um, relationships, uh, even some new friends locally, or, you know, you could have even met someone, a potential uh, person that might um, spark some almost like soul-like connection for you, whether it's a, you know, a significant other or the opposite sex, or uh, even a friendship that can really um, change uh, the and change the way that you connect with people and also open up different paths for you. Um, there is a possibility of going into some new subjects and in, uh, in learning or in school or um, even picking up a new course um, and uh, really uh, going deep and learning something new uh, in the areas of communicating and, and writing uh, or just, um, you know, how you can better serve the, the people in your local community as well because there's a, it seems to be like there's like a, a need for connecting more um and communication with others um right now in your fourth house scorpio uh you have mercury in aquarius at 10 degrees and saturn at 13 degrees so there could be a lot of um feelings of almost restriction in your home life um, feeling like, uh, somebody is limiting you or something is limiting you, or, you know, it could even be your own fears and phobias, but, um, this could also be a, some type of authority figure or father figure, um, or even husband or boyfriend, or, um, you know, for the males, uh, you know, a dominant woman in your life, or, you know, a parent, an older parent or a grandparent, um, you know, and with the Mercury there, there's a lot of communicating between you guys. Um, and it's about to actually go direct. So um, this Friday, and when it does, um, we, we could probably be in shadow period, or, or you are, we are in shadow periods, so you could probably already be feeling the effects of this. But there's a lot of like miscommunication in, in home life right now. There's a lot of um, just like very intense, um, limiting, limiting and restrictive uh, energy where you almost feel like uh, you're not comfortable um, in your home life or that something needs to change. Um, you could almost feel the pressure of, of needing to change it. Um, and then on the more positive note, it could be that somebody has came into your life that is an authority figure um, that you could be, you know, uh, maybe making some business with or some connections with. Um, I want to say that Saturn could also be losses. So there could be some loss of some sort in the family um, life right now, or, you know, in your close um, connections and your close family, you know, in your childhood as family members as well. Um, it could, you know, for some Scorpios, it could have been dealing with the loss of a, a of a sibling um, that has really been impact impactful on your on your psychological and on on how you feel safe um, at home and how you connect with others. Um, or this could just have been a, some type of breakup or some breakup that needs to happen, um, and you're feeling the the push now, and you're you, you know you're you're working on letting go of the fears to kind of be out here alone if you are in a relationship. Um, and so <clears throat> in your fifth house, Scorpio, you have Jupiter at three degrees and Neptune at 20 degrees. Um, so there could be some, for those of you that are single, they could have possibly, or even if you're divorcing or separating, they could have possibly have met someone again. Um, like I mentioned, it could have been someone locally in your neighborhood or while you were locally traveling or maybe going shopping or somebody could have popped up and, um, you know, they bring a lot of joy into your, and they're fun and they're exciting into your like fifth house. Um, so I would say Scorpio should be very careful of, um, you know, if this is not something that you want, but, uh, a child is possible now when Jupiter enters into your fifth house, this can really bring children or expand children, or it can expand the need to spend more time with your children and to do more fun things with the children. Cause it is the house of leisure and fun. Um, you know, with Neptune there too, uh, 
this could be a lot. Uh, Jupiter can expand also as well because this is the house of flings. So this could expand a lot of um, potential partners and flings coming around. And, you know, with Neptune kind of blurring the line there because Neptune is a delusions as well as it could be, you know, romance as well. It could also be, um, you know, aspirations and dreams and spiritual uh, connections. So this might feel very spiritually um driven and motivating for you with somebody that you have you've potentially met and connected with maybe somebody locally could have been a you know a neighbor a co-worker um somebody of that of some sorts um if it's not if you are single if you're not with someone um or this could just be bringing a lot of passion into your current relationship um and um or even expanding the need uh for for wanting to expand your family um, and having a child and, and, and settling down with someone that you do live with um, if you are in a relationship. Um, at the moment, Scorpio rising, you have um, Chiron in your sixth house. Chiron is the wounded asteroid. Um, it does deal with um, childhood wounds that are integrated into your personality as you mature and go through life. Um, and it's, it's how you... Um, process the most painful experiences of your life um, and how you, you know, mesh them and, and work with them instead of them working against you. Um, and for uh, you, Scorpio, it's in your Aries house in, in the sixth um, at eight degrees. Um, and this is the house of work. So there could, sh there could be some childhood fears and some childhood wounds um, connected around, um, you know, how you work how you serve others. Um, maybe you feel there might be some need for change um, in this area of your life, um, or you might feel like there's transformations coming for you in your area of work or how you work or how you connect with others, how you serve other people. Um, this is also the, you know, your um, mental component house. It's how you process things, how you work through things, um, how you organize things. And so there's a lot of going back through childhood um, memories uh, to almost like reinvent yourself and how and and re um, revamp how you um, work with others, how you serve others, how you um, also how you take care of yourself and your health because this is the house of health as well. So there could be some, um, you know, real changes in how you um, take care of your embodiment in your body because the sixth health is your health, which is connected um, with, you know, how you take care of yourself as well. So this could, this could also be, um, well, and interesting enough, you have that in Aries in your six um, and Mars is the ruler of Aries, which is also the ruler of your um first house in Scorpio. So this could also be your physical embodiment um, and how you um, take care of your health and how you um, how you're changing the way that you um, nurture yourself. OK, um, your seventh house is in Taurus, uh, Scorpio rising, and you have uh, at the moment you have Uranus at 10 degrees retrograde, I believe. Yes. Um, and Uranus is about to go um, direct. Um, as well as the North Node moving into Taurus for you. So this is going to ultimately change how relationships happen for you. There's going to be some um, almost like sudden uh, changes, some um, unpredictable moments that you did not expect. Um, there could be some uh, real innovative um movement now in your partnership house in your house of contracts in your house of relationships um and this is going to benefit you in business um and it's going to expedite uh, you know expedite your um what you've been trying to work on and what you've been trying to manifest and it's going to um ultimately um be very beneficial for you scorpio it's going to pay the whole new um 18 year um uh, or, or yeah, 18, 19 years start. I believe that's how long, or that's the last time the nodes were in Scorpio and Taurus for you, Scorpio uh, rising. Uh, think back, you know, uh, 19 years ago, um, you know, this was the start of a new career and now you are 
um, coming into something new, a whole new direction in life for you. Um, and it is going to be in your partnership house and in your, your, your self house and, and how you present yourself to the world, but which ultimately will open up a new career path for you. Um, and a new, um, whatever it is that you're trying to, um, create as far as career and work and all this new version of you, it's all going to be revamped and it's going to ex be expedited for you here. Um, and your connections are going to soar now, Scorpio, um, sun, moon, and rising, um, especially Scorpio rising. Um, and, and like I said, in your eighth house, right at the moment, North node is there, but as of January 18th, the North, the node is going to shift out of your eighth house, um, which was really working towards, um, your psychological with, with your, um, you know, the hidden things, uh, uh, in your life that you, um, throughout the years didn't face about yourself and your connections with others and, um, you know, changing the way you fundamentally look at things in life um, and giving you a whole new perspective, um, Scorpio. So uh, keep in mind that uh, Mercury stays retrograde in your um, fourth, uh, fourth house, and it's going to move into your third house uh, on the 14th of January, this Friday, and it's going to stay there until February 3rd. And then you have about a week of shadow period after that. But this, um, this is going to, um, really change the way your home life is. Um, there's gonna be some, how you communicate your home life, how you, um, in your home life, how you communicate with others, how you communicate with your mother, um, or, you know, or sister possibly, um, and just how your home is structured, there's going to be some re, um, you're going to go back and rethink some things through and because there's some massive changes coming for you, Scorpio. Um, and so this is also going to hit back into your third house. If you had something, Scorpio, that started at the end of January when Jupiter entered into your fourth house, um, I'm sorry, into your fifth house, there is going to be um, uh, an opportunity now to go back um, it from whatever started at the end of December to go back and, uh, review it. Um, and you'll have an opportunity now to, um, work through it. Um, and this is going to be entering into your third house as well. So if there's been any, um, disruptions with, um, neighbors or, um, you know, local travel or how you, um, learn or some small course or education that, um, wasn't um you weren't sure about you're going to go through and process all of this about your ideas because um aqua is about ideas and this is your fourth house and mercury is going to retrograde into in, in aqua first so these are about the ideas and maybe and for you scorpio these are ideas about home and what makes you feel safe and and what you need as far as feeling fulfilled at home um and um scorpio rising this could also be um some changes in home, maybe some changes in real estate for you. Um, but nonetheless, you're going to, these ideas are going to start in this Merc Mercury retrograde in air because um, air is all about ideas. And then it's going to move into Scorpio. I mean, sorry, into Capricorn, into an earth sign. This is where you're going to have the chance to actually put down this plan. Um, and when, once, once we get into February and Mercury goes direct, you'll be able to move forward with these plans um, because that North node is going to really give you a fresh start and a, and a, a new direction in life. So the doors are opening up for you, Scorpio, um, rising as well as sun and moon. And, um, you know, you should really look forward to this time because it's a positive time for you. Um, it might not feel so positive yet because a lot of, um, you guys are feeling, um, some of the real intense, uh, changes and the energies you are an empath Scorpio. So you do tend to feel everything around you very strongly. Um, and these energies are very strong and they're very quickly moving. So the shift can be almost very like, um, uh, you know, the Scorpio has to work through having that need, um, of control because they are a fixed sign. Um, and you have to work through letting go and just kind of having faith in this time. Um, but know that the doors are opening up for you and everything that you want, um, is going to manifest as long as you stick with the plan that you have. Um, you know, uh, Mars is going to move out of Sagittarius soon too. So it's going to move out of your finance house. Um, and it's going to move into your third house of Capricorn, uh, where it's going to, um, produce more, um, work for you. You're going to be very busy. 
um, in whatever it is that you do uh, from your day to day, trying to manifest your goals and create um, this world that you're in this um, reality that you want for yourself. Um, and this month is going to be, it's going to bring a lot of, um, you know, quick changes and you might feel like it's slowing at this moment, or you might be a little bit uh, pessimistic, but, you know, keep your um, faith because there is a lot coming for you, Scorpio, that is positive And that is um, really good for your career. Um, you do have Scorpio rising. You do have uh, Leo in your 10th house. So, um, you could even expect to be dealing with some type of, um, like notoriety, like no, uh, being, um, recognized in society or in the world. Uh, you could deal with, um, some, you know, even possibly writing a book or, um, anything that can give you enough, um, attention or and not even attention, but like all, all eyes are on you right now. Your energy is really, really, really powerful. Um, there's a, it, there's major changes in, in fixed signs this year, but specifically Taurus and Scorpio, because of the way the nodes are moving, um, Scorpio, there's a lot of releasing the past with self node in your first house, um, and changing from who you were before into this new phase that's coming for you in the next 19 years that are going to produce a whole new path, career, uh, life and a whole new, uh, path in relationships and a whole new path in and how you see yourself and how you present yourself to others and how you communicate. So, you know, um, you know, good luck Scorpio. And, um, I will see you next month for your next, um, reading. And if you want a more personalized reading Scorpio, um, you can go ahead and book with me at my website. I will have the link um, in the description box below. Um, please do subscribe and like so that my channel is seen by more uh, people and more Scorpios can get their forecast for the month. And I appreciate you guys being here. And thank you so much.